Hey everybody, Clint here from Necromold's Monster Battles. And today I want to look back on 2021 as we wrap up the year and look at our major milestones that we were able to accomplish all thanks to your support. And I also want to look ahead to 2022 and give you some insight into what you can expect next year from Necromode's Monster Battles. Uh, but first, I want to thank uh, all of our holiday supporters who picked up a copy of Necromolds to play with their friends or family or gift to someone they love. Um, thank you so much for your patience as our fulfillment center was working through just increased holiday demand and extra long handling times. I know how frustrating that can feel and how uh, just much that sucks. Um, so I really have to thank you for your patience during that time. And I'm so glad that we were able to get you your copies of Necromolds out for the holidays. So now looking back on 2021, what were Necromold's major accomplishments last year? Well, or I guess this year, almost last year. Um, the first big one, of course, is the Kickstarter fulfillment. So we were able to get all of our Kickstarter pledges fulfilled um, to over, it was either over 30 or 40 countries all around the world. Um, so so Necromold's is out there in the world, um, you know, and it's and it was just... To see that level of support from our Kickstarter campaign was so cool, and I'm so glad that through all of the turmoil of 2020 and, you know, also 2021 and with shipping and manufacturing, just if you were part of the Kickstarter campaign, you know all of this already, um, and I'm glad that we were able to push through all that, make it across the finish line, and get you your copies of Necromolds. Um, and another accomplishment last year was, you know, we launched our website. So building the Necromolds website and web store, so anyone who didn't buy it during the Kickstarter, who didn't back it during the Kickstarter, had an opportunity to, to pick it up this fall. Um, also, conventions. So conventions were another big thing in 2021. Um, I was so fortunate and happy um, to be able to attend Gen Con this year, as well as um, PAX Unplugged. So they were both... Um, and Gamehole Con in Madison. Um, so all three of those were conventions. Two of them, uh, Gen Con and PAX, I'd never been to before. So they were great experiences. And at all three of those conventions, I got to connect with Necromolds players, um, you know, thank them for supporting the campaign, play a game of Necromolds with them, and just chit-chat or play other board games. Um, so if you were one of those who came out to either any of those conventions and we got to meet for a little bit, uh, thanks so much for coming out and just taking your time to meet up with me. So, uh, so that was, that was one of my highlights of 2021. Um, next up, um, and this was a big one was kind of media reviews and content creators. Um, so Necromolds, one thing we didn't get to do during the Kickstarter was send out a lot of copies to, you know, different reviewers and content creators before the campaign, because the game was so, um, so special and each prototype had to be handmade. Um, but now that the game is out there in the world and, and exists, it actually exists, um, we were able to send it out to media reviewers, um, get it in the hands of content creators, and the overwhelming enthusiasm and support and just and positive reviews uh, b kind of blew me away. Uh, there were things, you know, as a game designer, you, you hope that everybody loves what you made, right? You hope that they have the experience out of the game that you were trying to design for them to have. Um, and it, it's it been such a cool thing to see that, that you know, game reviewers who play hundreds of games a year were able to open up Necromolds and get all the satisfaction out of the gameplay as it was as it was designed to deliver. Uh, and that wasn't just for content creators and, you know, and game board game reviewers, but also all of our players. Um, so over 100 of you have left reviews on our website um, talking about what you think about Necromolds, what the experience is like, sharing, you know, sharing a, a battle photo of you and your family playing Necromolds together. And, and as a game designer, I can't thank you enough for taking the time um, to chime in and, you know, come back to the website and leave those reviews. Um, so not only does it help, you know, you know, it helps inspire me to keep designing, which, you know, I don't need a whole lot of help with that. I'm still obsessed with Necromolds. Um, but it also helps anyone who hasn't picked up the game yet to get a better idea of what Necromolds is all about. So thank you for taking the time to do that. 
Um, and finally, all of those previous things from the Kickstarter support and pledges, um, who really made everything else on this list possible, um, to the media reviews, to, to you leaving a review, all of that stuff um, helped sell out Necromolds in 2021. So in approximately three months, we were able to sell all of our Necromolds inventory. And, um, and that means some really, really cool things for the future. And I didn't think, I thought it would take us a year to sell out of our inventory. So I thought we had more, uh, I thought we would have more lead time. Um, but fortunately, um, you all love Necromolds as much as I love Necromolds, which means that I get to do even cooler things faster with Necromolds, thanks to all your support. So let's talk about 2022. So the first thing I know a lot of you are wondering is the Necromolds reprint of Series 1, um, because maybe you missed a monster pack, or maybe you never had the opportunity to buy Necromolds um, because it was already sold out on the website. So the good news that I have for you is that uh, in spring this year or sooner, um, we're going to be doing a 2022 Necromolds Kickstarter, um, which we're going to use to raise the funds to do that second print of Necromolds Series 1. So we're planning to reprint all of the Necromolds Monster Packs. We're going to reprint the Necromolds Battle Box. Um, so anyone who missed any of those things can jump into the campaign and pick up a copy. And your support during that campaign is going to be critical because it's going to help me judge how many copies I need to order. And also, putting down a down payment on manufacturing and paying for all those copies up front is really, really expensive. Um, so having that support ahead of time, being able to pre-sell and, and get pledges for the campaign uh, is really going to do a lot to help us succeed and get those copies into your hands. Um, for everyone who already has the battle box, you've got all the monster packs, maybe you did an all-in pledge during our first Kickstarter, and you're wondering, what is coming for me in 2022? Well, um, something that I'm really excited about is in that same Kickstarter that we're using to fund the reprint, we're also going to be releasing a new Necromolds expansion, and it's going to change up the gameplay from the battle box. And you're going to need the battle box to play it, and it's, of course, it's compatible with all the previous monster packs and battle box and all that. Um, but it builds off of the game in a really cool, in a really exciting way. And I'm not going to talk too much about it right now, but I will tell you that my my excitement for for what <laughs> for what this expansion adds to the game is just as much as my excitement for when I first started developing and designing Necromolds. So that is to say, I think once this expansion comes out, Anybody who, who liked and enjoyed the Battle Box is going to want this expansion. And once you've played this expansion, I don't think you're going to ever want to play vanilla Necromolds again. You're always going to want to play with the expansion. That, that's how excited I am about the expansion. Um, also coming uh, with this Kickstarter is going to be new Monster Packs. So we're working on some new... Um, there. I, we're not calling them Series 2 yet. Uh, I'm kind of calling the expansion in the, the Monster Pack Series 1X. Um, so it's an expanded version of Series 1 uh, that's going to be part of this Kickstarter. So new monster packs, uh, an all-new gameplay expansion, and of course a reprint of all of our Series 1 stuff is coming your way early 2022. So that's everything I've got. Um, if, you, you know, if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments in this video or this post. And you know, like I said in my previous video, Necromolds, Super, super indie game. Um, so when you're, when you're sending Necromolds an email, when you're writing on our social media pages, you know, you're talking to me directly. So if you have any questions at all, leave them up on the site and I will, and I will respond to you as soon as I can. Uh, and, and of course, you know, if you haven't left a review yet, uh, be sure to do that. Um, some other exciting things. Uh, oh, the caster ring. So Necromolds mystery ring packs don't think I have one with me, um, but the Necromold's Mystery Ring Packs, where you either get a glow-in-the-dark Necromold ring, or of course our, our classic, the Basalt Color Scheme ring, um, those are back in stock on our website, uh, and they just became back in stock. Uh, so if you're looking to support Necromolds, uh, you can pick up some Mystery Ring Packs to add some of those new caster rings to your collection. Um, you can also, of course, buy a Necromold's t-shirt, uh, I've got my Grave Ghoul Fight'em t-shirt on. 
Uh, and then we also have the Necromolds Command Dice sets back in stock as well. So if you're looking to play Necromolds with three or four players, um, you can go ahead and pick up a, uh, a couple Command Dice sets if you want them to do four players. Um, and especially if you're going to do four players, I really recommend you should probably have the base game and at least one of the uh, Monster Pack expansions. So then, you know, between the four of you, you can have some variety in your armies. Um, that's really it. 2021, super, um, you know, there's a lot of things that weren't great about 2021, but it, when it comes to Necromolds, um, there's a lot of awesome stuff happening or happened this year uh, with Necromolds. And again, because of all your support. And I cannot wait for 2022 because I think 2022 in this upcoming Kickstarter campaign is really going to, I think it's going to blow up Necromolds. So I think the Series 1 reprint, this brand new expansion, the stuff we've got coming down the pipeline, I think you're all going to be really excited about. So uh, thank you for listening to this long, you know, 11 minute rambling video about 2021 and 2022. Uh, leave a question in the comments and I will respond as fast as possible. Uh, thank you all again, and I will see you next year.